Hi there, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Ask Malik. Malik is not here, obviously, as you can tell, but uh, we'll be filling in for him. This is Andrew, and this is my co-host, Jordan. We're here to answer your questions about anything and everything, and give you advice about anything you're, you might be wondering this week. So, uh, you know, questions like, what happened to you guys out there this week? And, you know, I'm here to answer them. So, if you have anything else, you can send your questions to askmalik92 at gmail.com. All right, Jordan, let's uh, get started. All right, I'll start. Dear Andy, my girlfriend doesn't like romantic things. She hates candles and cards and even things with hearts. She's the hardest person to get, get a gift for. What should I do? Signed, Mr. Stuck. Mr. What are your Stuck. thoughts on this? Dear Mr. Stuck, you won't be stuck for too long because you came to the right place. So here's what you're going to do, okay? She doesn't like candy and cards, candles, all that stuff. Pull something from the heart, man. Do something that is completely out of left field that she won't know how to react to it. And if she doesn't know how to react to it, she's going to think it's clever and original. So, you know, she's going to really enjoy it. And, you know, there are other ways that aren't gifts, things that you can do to coerce her into, you know, enjoying your Valentine's Day. And you don't need candles for that. You just need her for that. You know, stuff like that. But that's okay. And uh, if you're still stuck, write her a card, you know. It doesn't have to be a poem. It doesn't have to be anything like that. It can just be your thoughts. You know, or just, just kind of talk, you know, say, hey, we haven't had time, just you and I for a while. Stuff like that, Mr. Stuck. Consider yourself unstuck. All right. All right. Dear Andrew, I have two Valentines, but not enough money. I really care about both people, but times is, times is tough, are hard. Should one get a chief gift and the other be well thought of? Signed, Mr. Too Broke for Love. What are your comments, Melly? And Andrew. <laughs> Dear Mr. Too Broke for Love, first of all, you're not alone. I'm too broke for love too. So I've been through these situations. Here's one piece of advice. Something you can do is you get, you spend that money, that little bit of money you have, get something that, you know, can be reused. See, if you buy flowers or chocolate or something that you actually give, you know, you're giving away that money. But if you spend it on something that you have at your house, you know, a new attraction or something for you guys to play or do, then, you know, both of you get to use it. And only one of them, you know, you'll be able to say, hey, I got this brand new for us. Let's open it together. Next one, you can say, you know, I opened this early just to make sure that it would be perfect for you. Stuff like that. Mr. Too Broke for Love, you can spin it and you can find your love and you don't need money for it. Thank you very much for all the questions that you guys have sent in and all the care and time you put into making this show what it is. I'm Andrew Lloyd and I'm filling in for Malik Muhammad. And uh, he'll be in next week for his segment of Ask Malik. But uh, I'm happy I could fill the role. And uh, thanks again to the co-host Jordan. And, you know, keep sending in your questions. You can give it a shot at... Uh, on Facebook or Westchester TV uh, from the Westchester website. Either way, you can get a hold of us. If you really ha want your questions answered, you'll find an answer. And here's one of your sources. Keep them coming, and thanks for listening, Westchester.